Okay, an interesting addition to this. Now, we can actually switch this to cycles, and we can do something really interesting and make a pretty cool looking wallpaper. Uh, so, when we do this, make sure to turn off volume scatter, because cycles is not really good at computing that. Also, we want to turn on motion blur again, because cycles motion blur works a bit differently. Set to about 8, and we need to change the shape of the curve. So, what we want to do is just pick any random curve. And we want to have this uh, a sloping down shape. So what we end up is with uh, something that looks like comet tails. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth or anything. Uh, it's fine, just leave it at something that looks like it's sloping downwards. And we'll have this right in the middle of our acceleration. We'll take a render. And if you look, this is actually a pretty cool effect you might like as a wallpaper, um, but it will take a lot longer to run, render in cycles. And we have kind of like a color burst, sort of explosion from the center of the page. Um, of course you can fine tune the colors and all that, that'll definitely help. I think a shutter paint is probably a bit too high. And this actually looks quite nice in black and white, and easy way to do that. Also, you may also want to turn on denoising, denoising, um, because this is a bit fuzzy. Uh, but once this is done rendering, what you might want to do is add a pretty easy way to in black and white. Just give it a dilate node, and you can see my computer slowing down quite a bit. I just give it a distance of one. And then we'll see how at the final render that this is going to be uh, black and white and we'll have pretty cool looking wallpaper. I will see you in the next one. Uh, enjoy the wallpaper.